But I'm going to introduce our, our fearless leader, our Rabbi Larry. He's going to take us down memory lane. <laughs> Good morning. Shabbat shalom. <clears throat> you saw that picnic pic that just now, that picture? That's the start of the next 25. Yeah. So when I'm up here in 25 years, right. Okay. When I'm up here in 25 years, we'll have to go back to that picture. Okay. Uh, let's move on from there. Uh, so we're going to have some slides. You're not going to uh, necessarily make them all out or remember all of them. Uh, just give you a little background to that. Uh, Shuva started, as we said, 25 years ago. Really, it was about 26 years ago when I met with Dana and a guy, another Messianic rabbi by the name of Doug Friedman, and we met and we started talking about starting a new Messianic congregation. And so we had a special meeting, um, special dinner. I flew out here to meet with them. <clears throat> we decided we're going to start a new Messianic congregation. And that was 1996. And in 1997, Dana and Doug and myself, we went to a special uh, seminar on planning new Messianic congregations. And so in February of 97, we committed to doing it. About March or April, I can't be sure Dana will know, we signed uh, our official beginning. So we started sometime in the spring. Uh, Dana, you know which month that was? Here we go. That's why I have them around. April 27th, 1997, Shuva Incorporated. And so that's when we began. I came out uh, to look for a place to live. Uh, it was April, May and June. And then we, had, we did actually in that April, I think we had our first Passover in 1997, which you're going to see. And then, <clears throat> then we moved out, moved out here in the summer of 97. And in 98, in 97, we started meeting in a clubhouse. I think you're going to have to see a picture. And there was a small clubhouse we met for about a month. In September of 97, we started meeting in the, the Pacific Church of Irvine. Okay, good. And we started meeting there in September of uh, 97. I remember our first meeting. Just imagine how Dana had to feel. Our first meeting, my father had passed away, and I had to fly back and I couldn't even be there, our first meeting. So Dana had to preach. So really, Dana preached our first message in the building, Pacific Church of Irvine. And so we met there, and all these things you're going to see took place there in the Pacific Church of Irvine. Um, around that time, let me just let me have this go back a little bit. Uh, we started with the incorporation. Let me just tell you who was there, just so you know, because you because you're wondering, of all these people, how many were here? There was Dana and Jean. Why don't you stand up, guys? Jean? Yeah, I know. Jean doesn't like it, but. There was Fran and myself. Fran, Fran, you can stand up. You don't have to worry. There's not too many more. Okay. There's Mimi and Isaac right there. Although Isaac doesn't remember too much. No, he doesn't remember. Okay. He was about one, but that's okay. Uh, and then there was uh, Mike Kuttner. He's around here right there, Mike Kuttner. And I think that's it. That's it. That goes all the way back to the original. Shortly thereafter, a year later, in uh, some people thought it was our beginning, it was a year later, 1998, we had a grand opening. We had a picnic, uh, lunch outside, and all kinds of people came. We had a guy named Frank Eichler, David Hawking, and myself. We all spoke. And that's, uh, we had, so the grand opening was a year later. And from that, we got Harry Moselle. Where's Harry around here? Or no, he went out to the children already. Good. No. What? Harry's up there. Okay. Harry went good. Good. Now, I know I'm going to forget some people, I, please, please. but I just want to take you a little bit around the clock, here was going. Shortly thereafter, about 1999, Mike Kuttner here came running up to me after a service, and he says, my doctor came here today, but he's not a believer, he's Jewish, he's not a believer, you got to get to him. He so said, he told me, so as soon as the service went, I went there, he was gone. He wouldn't stay around. Next week, Mike comes up. He's here again. You got to get to him. He was gone. He wasn't hanging around. Well, 
He did eventually come out a little bit more. He did eventually pray to receive the Lord. He now plays our drums. Dr. Greg Katz. <laughs> I don't like to say, but he's the oldest member of our worship team. But anyway, I don't like to. <laughs> that was about 1999. Right around that time, uh, I think Jim was uh, coming right about that. David Hawking, we were associated with David, and we had, and he, we had a lot of contacts. And he started bring at that point, Jim started coming along with Cliff and Peggy and the Acoustic Clan. That was around 2001. Somewhere in that time. Around that same time, right after that, just to let you know, uh, David's uh, wife, David Little's wife, Andrea, she came to me and she said, I want to come for Yom Kippur service. Do you say Kol, uh, do you say Kol Nidre, prayer for the dead? I said, we don't do it. She goes, all right, I like you anyway. So she came. And so Dave and Andrea started coming around 2001 at that point. I'm, you, you can correct me later, but I think I'm pretty close. Then around that same time, and you wanted to know you're going to get lunch, you're going to pay for it by saying it. Anyway, so around that time, Fran and I went to a conference in, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where we go, where we met back in 1972. But we go to this conference, and while we're there, we see this couple, this girl actually, not the couple. I don't know. And she was dancing around, and we found out that she's from Irvine. And so we got to meet each other, and then the next year at Passover, she, Lisa and John, came to our first Passover. And then they became part of Shuv as well. So they've been coming since about 2002. Now I'm just curious, because I can't go too much more of that. How many of you, I'd like to know, I want you to stand up. If you were here in the first building. Now let me just give you a warning. We moved from that building in March of 07. How many of you were here before 07? Raise your, stand up. Hey, the clan back there, you, you, you all the way back, you stand up. Now I say, you're all here from before 07. Okay, just get a feel. Okay, you all sit down quick. Okay. Okay. I think, I don't know if I want to make any more divisions. We started here in 07, and uh, I'll just go. 2010. Anyone start from around 2010? Okay, good. All right. That's a little bit of the background. Uh, Dana, okay, thank you. Great. Okay. He has a special note. I told him to do this because I knew I'd forget. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Dan. Very, very good. There's someone who's watching online. Right. Thank you. That's because you're not here. But we love Jim and Carol Dunlap. Jim and Ca Oh, there's Jim. Okay. I didn't see Jim. Jim, you know what's happening. You know, yeah. Okay. Jim and Carol. They've been coming with us from pretty much the beginning, right? Jim and Carol, very, very good. And then, of course, I want to, there's a lot of people who aren't here anymore, but they were instrumental. And one, they might be watching from Israel. I didn't forget you guys, okay? That's uh, Jeremy and Jen uh, Schwaber. We want to give a shout out to you guys. We always pray for you. We remember you well. We're looking forward to when you're going to move back. Anyway. Okay, um, and I think that's it. Now, I do want to mention that uh, we had been meeting at the uh, Pacific Church of Irvine, and then around 2006, I decided we wanted to move from that building. It was a little dark, it was underground, well, there was no lights. And I started looking around for a new place to meet. And around 2006, I had a doctor's appointment across the parking lot. And I'm there, and I came out, and I saw this building. And I don't know if this building was one or two years old. It was pretty new at the time. And I saw this building, and I, as I tell people, I started coveting like no one's ever coveted before. And I walked across here, and I saw this place. I said, we got to meet in this place. And I remember coming in here, coming into the lobby, and I, I was overwhelmed. It looked so nice. I'm used to meeting in basements and hotel rooms. And I saw the lobby, and I said, Lord, you got to get me to the right people. So I walked in, and I saw a secretary behind the desk. I said, wrong person, Lord. I don't want the secretary. I need someone more important. Anyway, so I walked up to the secretary and said to her, and said to her, is there someone around here I'd like to talk about our ministry? And I told her what we do. We're looking for a building. And she says, do you have a card? The worst thing in the world. So I, so I go back to my card, get the card. She, she's gone. And I walk in the lobby, 
And Pastor Frank, the pastor today, he's walking by. He says, can I help you? And I tell him, the secretary just asked me to get my card, leave it here, because we have a ministry, a messianic ministry. And he looks at me, he goes, messianic? I said, oh, you know about messianic? He goes, yeah. I said, well, we have a messianic ministry, and we're looking for a new place to move to. And I told him all about what we do in reaching our Jewish people. And he was really, really, he wasn't the pastor yet. He said, well, I have a uh, staff meeting right now, and I'm going to tell them about it. And I said to myself, right. Anyway, so he, so I left. He went and he told them about us. I can't believe it. Then he said, would you meet with a couple of us, talk about your ministry? I said, sure. This was still in the, the fall of 06. And I met with a few of them. And they said, this is really interesting. Would you meet with a group of us, our leaders? I said, sure. But this took a few more, a month or two. I met with their leaders. Then after a while, they said, would you speak to our church on Sunday? I said, sure. So I came to speak to the church and they voted. And Frank told me, he says, you got three no's out of the whole congregation. I said, really? He says, but that's better than I did. I'm the, I'm the pastor now, and they gave me seven no's. But anyway, <laughs> so we decided we're going to meet here, and we made, made arrangements for Purim 07 uh, March to meet here. But right before then, I did a very Jewish thing. I wasn't serious, but I said to Frank, it must have been like February or January before, I said, we can't meet here. It was all set. But I walked out and said, we can't meet. He goes, why? What's wrong? I said, we don't have enough room to dance up here. I said that purposely. He said, well, we'll take some rows out for you. I said, You'll, they're bolted down. He says, we'll take the rows. We'll get rid of them. You know, they actually got rid of rows for us so we could dance. This, this church is just so incredible. I don't see. Is Frank here anywhere? I know. Where's my Frank? Where's my Frank? Yeah, it's, hey, everybody. And Cinda, his wife, great. <laughs> I can't sing their praises enough. I really. And your praises go out throughout the whole Messianic movement. I tell them, there is no host church like this one. They are the greatest. They've always been so wonderful to us. <laughs> we are so blessed because of them. We want to thank you. They put up poster, uh, posters. The, what are those? Banners. They've said... Any objections? They said they asked me if I'll have any comments. I made some comments and they did what we asked. They've been so, so wonderful. And I'm just so thankful to partner with them together. Jewish and Gentile people reaching for the people for the Lord. Thank you guys so much. It's great. So with that, I think I probably forgot a lot, but that's okay. Uh, I want to just do quick slides if we can. Some of you will remember, some will be bored, but that's okay. Let's go through some of the slides. If I raise my hand, that means stop. So let's say a blast from the past as we go down memory lane. Okay, that, just hold on. I think that's our original uh, uh, clubhouse that we met in just for about a month or so. Okay, that's my first office we had upstairs uh, somewhere in Irvine. That's Fran and another member of the congregation. That's me with hair. Okay. I forget where we are there, but we're... Oh, this is our first church, the Pacific Church of Irvine, where we met. This is probably our grand opening that day, uh, a year later. Yeah, outside we, we made a, picnic, a lunch for everybody. And that's us on the platform there, my little daughter, my daughter. Okay, just some dancing going on. We had bolt didn't have bolted down chairs yet. George and Sandra Ferris, typical Hanukkah at that time. Me probably mad at someone, okay. That's Beck on the far left in Shabbat school. That's Madeline Singer and Jean and Marty Getz playing for us. Arnold and Mary Ann. They were part of our congregation back then before they moved to Texas. This is probably a, a Seder or something, I think. Okay, one of our Seders. Not too much room to dance. Yeah. That's, okay, the children doing the four questions, I think. Don't quote me. Doug, Dana, and Jim Dunlap. 
I don't know what we're signing, but we're signing some. Ron Davis, one of our first elders with my Becca. Courage to remember our first, one of our first Holocaust remembrance. Yeah. Okay, that was some, that was our leadership at the time. Doug, well, keep it there. Go, go back, go back. Oh, Doug and Bonnie, myself and Fran, Ron and Sharon Davis, that was his first wife. She passed away and Dana and Jean. Okay, good. The, we're going to do a march for Israel, at one of our first marches with the Jewish community. They weren't too happy we were there with that banner. So that would be 24 years ago. Okay. All righty. Okay. Okay, our first sukkah. Fran and me under it. Larry with hair. Fran much younger. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Probably Israel Independence Day. Naomi and Doug. Probably one of the bar Our first football game, probably. You'll see Greg Katz there, the doctor in the far right, the doctor who prayed to receive the Lord. We go, okay, get the ball. Okay. Not sure what this is. Women's Fellowship, Bible study, Fran teaching the people to dance. She was our first dance leader, and then Christina Card became our dance leader after that. And finally, Tiffany. This looks like a men's fellowship that we had. Our first immersion. Margie prayed with me to receive the Lord, and she was immersed at the Katz's house. This is our, our, one of our first. Okay. Just immersion with Greg. The family. Oh, oh, stop. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back one. Go back one. Can you? No? Okay. Oh, you can't go back one? No? Okay. Okay. Greg was holding his daughter, who I'm going to marry to Austin Kuzdek this August. There, there she is. She's graduating law school this month. Going to take the bar this uh, summer. What? July. Going to be married in August. Should be fun. Go on. Okay. Oh, one of our picnics. Yep. One of our pictures. You've got to be at the new picnic coming up this May. This is the uh, Becca's Bat Mitzvah. 98, I think. Yeah. With my Rachel and Becca. The first bar mitzvah. Probably Lauren uh, Zwick. Yeah. Okay. Dana's son, Stephen Kasdan. Okay. I should say, what is he, a major now? Okay. Okay, one of the Shabbat schools with Raylene teaching. All right, I Rachel teaching. Hanukkah again. Hanukkah once more. Okay, there he is. Isn't he? Ah, there he, right here. I he was here. <laughs> okay, happy Hanukkah. All right. Okay, praying over the lighting. That's Matt Davis and Alina Bohm. Not Bohm now, but yeah. Okay, and some other people who I forget. This is the Davis family, Matt and Mary Lee. And he was our, our worship leader for about 13 years. And there's his sister, Jesse. There's Matt and Mary Lee. We married them. Okay, there's Steve, Matt's brother, and... Uh, uh, okay, Jesse and Becca. And, okay. Okay. Steve Davis. Okay, that's when they joined, became, uh, joined the NHL, the Hockey League. Okay, Wendy and... Okay. Okay, just stop for a minute. Just to let you know, if there's anyone who, I don't mention names, remember, I'm going to be 75. The names that I see up there, they don't click all the time in here. So I'm forgetting some of the names. But, so don't anyone be offended if I forget your name. Okay. Just had to give you a, a heads up on that. Okay. Okay. There's Beth, our new secretary. 
and uh, Jean and okay, Rachel, Ron's new wife, Kay. Okay, that's I think Jason, isn't it? I think Jason's in there. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Another immersion for Becca. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Go back one. Go back one. Go back one. Go, go back. Go, go back. 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 Okay. I can't see who that is. Okay, that's Ashley. Okay, I thought it might be. Okay, that's Ashley. Go one more. And there's Austin. He looks a little different than he does today. Okay, go on. Okay, Lena's a bat mitzvah. Okay, Lena, her sister, Alessa, Robert, and Mimi. Rose Price, some of you don't know her. She suffered in the Holocaust. Great, strong believer that spoke for the Lord for many years. Okay, these are Barry and Batya. We sing some of their songs. They're Israeli citizens. And Joel, we know. And me and Joel. Me, oh, go back one. I like you to see what I had here. Okay, so I did. Okay, Paul Wilbur. Okay, Paul dancing with a. Okay. Renee, right, good. Okay. All right. Can, oh, Jeremy and Jet, stop for a second in case they're watching. There you are. I'm giving you extra time. Okay, good. Okay, good. go on. Okay, Dave and Andrea, John and Lisa and Andrea, Dane and Jean again. Okay, I better stop because I'm going to forget names. Those two I know. Okay, okay, March 3rd, we shifted over here to the Woodbridge Community Church. Okay, and we moved on. Here we are. Dancing at one of our meetings. There we go. So this, this is now 15 years out already, okay? This is the dedica dedication service, okay? Brooke and Christina, okay. Okay. All right. You know Michael? Speaking for us, there's one of our trips to Israel. Best one. This was the best one. Yeah, I go. <laughs> one of our choirs. Okay, Andrew. Up. Oh, one of his. One of our skits we were putting on or plays. Happy birthday, Israel! Probably. Okay, Cliff carrying the tour around. Those two boys in the middle, I know them. Okay. So I, go back one. I have to do it in case they're watching. You know, if they're watching, I want you to see Aaron there in the blue shirt and Seth there on the left with the uh, cowboy shirt. Okay. This is a beach day for everyone. This, this is something. Oh, play day, yeah. Pour them. Okay. Andrew and Nancy. Okay. And Okay. We uh, stop here. Mimi asked and, and Isaac said, remember, this was special. We had a bar mitzvah, only one we've ever had at the wall. We had a woman's bar mitzvah, a girl's bar mitzvah, but that was up there. But we had this one at the wall, and it was quite, there's uh, Robert, and it was quite an exciting day. Because um, uh, we, what you do in Israel, we just go into a back room and pull out uh, a Torah. And uh, some, one of our workers was pulling out one of the staff people that we were with, pulling out a truck. I said, no, no, get the big one. So we got this one. We brought it out. I gave it to Isaac. We marched it there and with our people. And these Orthodox rabbis, everyone started dancing, singing around us, dancing. They didn't know we were Messianic. So anyway, <laughs> it was really cool bar mitzvah at the wall. Okay. Okay. The, the clan again. Very good. Huh. Very good. Robert, Mimi, and Elsie. That's Elsie behind the glass. Okay. That's me behind the beard and Fran. Okay. That's not me. That's Hanukkah Harry. Okay. Okay, one of the hikes that we have. Okay, dancing, part of... 
Okay, dance troupe. I think this is about it, folks. Good. All right. Showers, good. Okay, Danny and Ellie. Okay. I don't know what they're doing holding their nose. Okay. Women, you know. Okay. Steve is one of our worship leaders. That's one of our conferences, but I don't know that kook in the middle. Very good, very good. It's good to see what God has done, isn't it? He is very, very good, <clears throat> and He blesses us. Um, there have been many others who have come and gone, and uh, our blessings are upon them as you go, but it's just good to be part of something at Chuvier's that we saw God start 25 years ago, and he, we've been through so much. God continues to bless. We see people grow in the Lord, and we've seen many people pray to receive the Lord as well. Um, uh, I do, I'll mention, because we saw Andrew Levy in some of those pictures up there. He's the one who does our Yom HaShoah service. He does all that, uh, and our planning and uh, drama. Um, it was a number of years ago, I'm not sure when, his wife, Nancy, she brought, uh, she came to the office, she goes, you got to meet with Andrew, my husband. He's Jewish and he doesn't know Yeshua. I said, okay, I'll meet with him. So he came to my office and I talked with him for a little while, I don't know, an hour or so. And I asked Andrew, I said, are you ready to pray and receive Yeshua? He says, no, I'm not ready yet. I said, okay. So then I started reading Isaiah 53 to him and a couple other things. He goes, I'm ready now. And he prayed to receive the Lord in the office. Now, there's one other thing I'm going to say, and then we're going to move on. But there's one other thing I want to say. When we first came here, before we even started meeting in the clubhouse, we had a pool party at my uh, first house when I got here in 1997. And Jeremy Schwaber brought this woman, unsaved Jewish woman, to our meeting. And while we were there at our house, we hadn't even officially started, I don't think, she prayed with me to receive the Lord. And I found out later it was Andrew Levy's mom. She prayed to receive the Lord. And we're remembering her today because, what, a week ago or so? She passed away to be with the Lord. And so we're going to be remembering her today at Andrew's house. But I do remember Irene, and I prayed for her for ever since then. She came back. But I remember that first day at our immersion, at our house, she prayed to receive the Lord. Many, many good things. Hi, I'm Rabbi Larry Feldman from Shuva Yisrael in Irvine, California. Click here on the Round Shuva logo to subscribe to our YouTube channel and never miss a Shuva video. Toda B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach.